If God be for us, who can be against us? This promise in Romans 8 verse 31 is a powerful reminder that when God is on our side, we have nothing to fear. Even when we are faced with impossibilities, we will find strength and courage in His words. His beautiful words in Isaiah 41.10 are equally comforting, especially in times that we're living in right now. The promise says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let me share with you of how God has fulfilled His promises to an ASAP medical missionary in Thailand. Sompong Kunsawang built a successful health ministry and radio broadcast, reaching Buddhists in the region where her husband served as a pastor. But when they accepted a call to pastor three churches in another part of Thailand, Sompong wondered, would she be able to start similar ministries in her new location? As soon as they arrived, Sompong and her husband began praying, asking God to open doors for them. Soon, a local radio station offered them airtime. But the studio was far from their home, so Sompong built a simple studio beside a nearby Seventh-day Adventist church where she could record programs and send them to the station. This apparent inconvenience turned into a blessing when coronavirus lockdowns closed the radio station studio. Sompong was able to continue recording and as a result, her program was one of the few that continued broadcasting during the lockdown. One listener is already attending church on Sabbath and taking Bible studies. Sompong also dreamed of starting a health center to teach the residents of her new community about organic gardening and herbal remedies. She knew that many people would be skeptical. So again, she and her husband brought their request to the Lord in prayer. Within days, the local government announced that it was looking for organizations to teach sustainable agriculture. Sompong applied along with many others. Only three proposals were selected, and Sompong's was one of them. Her project gained official recognition as an agricultural learning center, and now the community has embraced it. All honor and glory belongs to God, Sompong says. Please remember this project in your prayers, that the Lord will use it as a bridge to reach the community. Even lockdowns, cannot stop the work of the Lord from going forward. Let us remember, friends, that we are praying to the God who holds all the power in the universe. He is also the God who invites us to bring our request to Him. John 14, verses 13 and 14, Jesus says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. My dear friends, let us keep on praying that God will open our eyes, that He may help us see a bigger picture of Him. For there is nothing that could be more powerful than Him. By the way, He is not just powerful, but He is also faithful in fulfilling every promise that He has given us. For the honor of His throne is stake for the fulfillment of His word unto us. The obstacles that are in front of us might appear insurmountable and impossible. But let us not forget that nothing is too hard for the Lord. We serve a faithful God who bids us go and who has promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Let us join hands in praying that the Holy Spirit will fill us and grant us courage in the dark times that we are living in to keep moving forward with our eyes fixed only on the one whose eyes is fixed on us because Jesus is coming soon. Now more than ever, prayer matters.